Pharisees came up and, in order to test him, asked, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife? What did Moses command you? Moses allowed a man to write a certificate of divorce and to put her away. For your hardness of heart, he wrote you this commandment. But from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife. The two shall become one. So they are no longer two, but one. What therefore God has joined together, let not man put asunder. In the house, the disciples asked him again about this matter. And he said to them, Whoever divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery against her. And if she divorces her husband and marries another, she commits adultery. They were bringing children to Jesus that he might touch them, and the disciples rebuked them. But when Jesus saw it, he was indignant. Let the children come to me. Do not hinder them, for to such belongs the kingdom of God. Truly, I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child shall not enter it. And he took them in his arms, and blessed them, laying his hands upon them. What is marriage? Men and women from a young age sense a certain draw to each other. It's part of human nature to experience this. Yes, sometimes this draw becomes distorted and turns into lust. But it's important to point out that this natural draw is just that, natural. From the beginning, the Creator made them male and female. Therefore, from the beginning, God intended the sacred unity of marriage. Marriage is truly mysterious. Yes, husbands may think their wives are mysterious, and wives may think the same of their husbands. But in truth, each person is a sacred mystery, and the unity of two people in marriage is an even greater mystery. As a mystery, one's spouse and marriage itself must be entered into with an openness and humility that says, I want to know you more each and every day. Spouses who approach their marriage with self-righteousness will always look down on the other and always fail to respect the holy mystery of the other. Each person you get to know, especially your spouse, is a beautiful and glorious mystery of God's creation whom you are not called to solve, but are called to meet on a deeper and deeper level each and every day. There must always be a humility that enables spouses to be open to the other in a new way every day so that they can continually discover a greater depth of beauty in the other. It is this humility and respect for the other in marriage that enables spouses to fulfill their joint mission of becoming one. Think about it. They are no longer two, but one flesh. Very few truly understand what this means, and even fewer live the beautiful depths of this glorious and high calling of marriage. Reflect today upon the mystery of the people you are called to love, especially if you are married. To call the other a mystery may at first lead to a smile as you acknowledge you cannot figure him or her out. But humbly recognizing the beautiful meaning of mystery will lead you to appreciate the uniqueness of others and help you to embrace the call to human unity 
especially within marriage. Let us pray. Lord, help me to see the beauty and holy mystery of the people you have placed in my life. Help me to love them with a humble love. May I especially deepen my love for my spouse each and every day. Jesus, I trust in you.